click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous video, we have discussed that we can combine various Turing machines doing various operations together in such a way that we can perform complicated tasks like how a computer does. In a computer, there are various parts doing various operations. We combine them to work us together. Over here, let us see the question first. We have to design a Turing machine, which will do two things. First, if x is greater than or equal to y, then it will do the operation of addition. If x is less than y, then it will output 0 onto the tape. We need three operations over here. The first one is a comparison. The comparison is required because we need to verify whether x is greater than or equal to y or x is less than y. We have already seen that a Turing machine could act like a comparator. Next, what we need is addition, the operation that is x plus y we need to calculate in case x is greater than or equal to y. We know that TM can act like an adder as well. One more operation that is required is writing 0 onto the tape in case x is less than y. That means it will erase all the contents of the tape and make sure that there is only one symbol that is 0. For that, we need a Turing machine which will act like an eraser. Over here, as we have seen a lot of examples, it's easy to see that TM can easily go and erase all the content by putting a blank onto every 0, 1, whatever symbol is encountered. Along with that, at the end, it can put a 0. So we can say TM can act like an eraser. Having these ideas in mind, I'm trying to construct a virtual machine, which is a combination of these three Turing machine. One, which is acting like a comparator. One, which is acting like an adder. Other one, which is acting like an eraser. Over here, I have shown three Turing machine. Turing machine C, which acts like a comparer. Turing machine A, acts like an adder. Turing machine E, acts like an eraser. Let's see how to interconnect them to get the required complex Turing machine. First of all, we'll supply input X and Y to the comparer. Now, if x is greater than or equal to y, we will activate the adder. If x is less than y, we will activate the eraser. For the adder, we need to have the values of x and y back again. So, we will supply x and y to adder as well. We have to combine the outputs of eraser as well as adder to get the final output of the required Turing machine. Adder would output x plus y, eraser would output a 0. I can say that the final function which is produced is f of x comma y. If I put together this entire thing into one machine, that Turing machine would be a combination of these three Turing machine in a complicated manner.
you can see that I have constructed the required complicated Turing machine using the three Turing machines that is C, A as well as E. We will see more question on designing complicated Turing machines depending upon smaller Turing machine for various operations such as macro operations which are used in programming languages. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe.